Uh, this time, Walid is in the hot seat. Uh, are you ready, Walid? Yes, I am. Uh, you've received a call from a and &E Miners. Uh, a 32-year-old male who was playing volleyball two weeks ago has been having consistent trouble in extending his left index, so we've went down to evaluate him. That's the uh, photograph of his finger. Yes, yeah, so on this clinical photograph, um, you can see um, flexion in the uh, distal interphalangeal joint uh, of the uh, index finger and what seems to be a, a mallet injury. Um, I would, um, provided that this is an isolated injury in an otherwise neurovascularly intact patient, I would request x-rays of the uh, finger. Uh, Here you go, we've done the x-rays. So yeah, so this shows a uh, bony uh, mallet injury, um, and, but no subluxation. So the main reason why I want the x-ray is to number one, exclude uh, subluxation, number two, to check on the amount of bony involvement. In this case, it's only, uh, it's less than a third of the articular surface that is involved. Uh, the displacement, I would say, would be within the range of uh, two millimeters. Um, my initial um, impression from this x-ray uh, would be that this would be suitable for conservative treatment in a uh, mallet splint. I would explain to the patient um, that um, this injury uh, usually is uh, treated conservatively. Uh, functionally, uh, we would expect a good recovery. However, cosmetically, the patients usually uh, have a persistent extension lag. Um, I would uh, make sure that the uh, splint is the mallet splint is well fitted avoid hyperextension of the uh, dip and um, warn him against possible uh, skin complications i would advise him to keep it on for six weeks if he does need to remove it for any skin care he has to maintain the uh, uh, position of the uh, dip I would uh, then bring him back in um, the hand clinic in six weeks time, uh, remove it and start uh, physiotherapy. Okay, how about, uh, <coughs> sorry, uh, how about if this uh, fragment was, was bigger, like, like you said, I, I think you said the number 30%, if it's more than 30% of the articular surface or if it's uh, quite displaced, uh, mm -hmm. would you manage the patient differently? Yes, so uh, in that case, depending on the patient's uh, function and after a discussion with the patient, I would uh, advise for a surgical uh, intervention in the form of a, initially, if I can get a closed reduction, I could do a closed reduction uh, uh, of that bony fragment with a uh, K-wire fixation. If that reduction isn't uh, good enough, then I might um, need to do an open reduction. I could put a, a blocking wire uh, on the extensor tendon and put a wire through the uh, uh, distal interphalangeal joint. Great, yep. yeah, I think, I think that's about it, yeah. Um, okay, how about if this gentleman didn't come within the uh, two weeks of injury? He came, he presented later, like uh, eight or 10 weeks down the line. Uh, his finger is still supple, but uh, it's eight weeks down the line. Would uh, this affect your management options? Yes, yes. So this is now, uh, the, the outcome uh, would be much less favorable. Um, this will have to be discussed with a, a hand uh, surgeon um, because the, uh, he might require surgical intervention from the start. My general uh, principles would be to give it a trial of uh, non-operative treatment in a mallet splint uh, for a six week period. And if then he still has functional problems, then the, uh, would, the hand surgeons might either do a tendon reconstruction. If it was a bony injury, they might do a delayed fixation of that fragment. Uh, if he uh, develops a swan neck deformity, they might have to correct the swan neck deformity, uh, maybe do a procedure such as a uh, volar, uh, a, sorry, sorry, a central slip tenotomy. The other option they might consider uh, is arthrodesis of the joint. Um, that would be up to the hand surgeon. I think that's correct. Um, you really know the topic really well. Uh, thank you, Elise. Thank you.
So how do you think it went? Uh, I think it's it's um, I think it went well. Uh, I mean, the only uh, main principle I think here was the amount of uh, articular surface involvement and the whether or not there is subluxation. Um, and basically the rest was the standard treatment we do in yeah. our day-to-day -day clinic. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think you know you know all the points. Uh, you pressed on the buzzwords that uh, that the examiner would like to hear. So well done. Thank you.